Hi students, coming to the next topic that is thread. What is a thread? So everyone will be some confusion about the process and the threads. So let me clearly explain uh, first what is a thread. A thread is nothing but you call it as a lightweight process. So just this is a term we are using that light weight process. Okay, so actually a process is there. A process is nothing but it is a program that is going to be executed in the memory. Okay, in the CPU, the CPU is going to be execute one program, then that you call it as a process. A process is a, a current execution of a program. So that process, each process is having a threads. Threads means a different uh, Modules that are uh, present in the process means doing their own operation. Each process again divided into some tasks, different tasks. So that's why we call it as a lightweight process. If you take any program, so in, a, uh, in that program, you are having a different, uh, you can take the uh, like uh, segments, a different segments or you can take the different statements. So that you call it as a thread. Uh, a thread is a lightweight process so let first me explain the definition it is a lightweight process and it is a basic unit of a thread is a basic unit of cpu execution the cpu is going to be execute something so that uh, execution it's a basic unit of cpu execution which consisting of it consisting of program counter a thread each thread consisting of one program counter means next what instruction has to be executed that information that related address will be stored in program counter so each thread is having program counter and uh, thread id thread id and uh, stack to store the temporary uh, to store temporary variables you need stack and you need uh, some set of registers set of registers okay so that is a thread a thread is a lightweight process uh, it's having a basic unit of cpu execution the cpu is going to be execute uh, some lightweight process so that lightweight process is having each process the, here suppose a cpu is you is that the cpu is executing some lightweight thread okay so this each thread is having some uh, program id uh, program counter thread id stack and set of registers are present in each thread and that unit of uh, basic unit is going to be executed in cpu so actually the process is there the process is having the multiple threads that process is divided into multiple threads each having their own function it is doing some operation and this is doing some operation and this is doing some operation so each operation that is doing uh, by the process okay so that is having some identifications like program counter thread id stack and set of registers will be hold by each thread so the thread will share all the resources that are used by the process okay it is not an independent so it has to share the resources of the process it's ha it doesn't have their own resources okay everything will be provided by the process itself so that is a basic definition of the a thread a thread you call it as a thread is a basic unit of cpu utilization consisting of program counter thread id stack and set of registers that you call it as a, a thread so however a thread shares with other threads in the same process it shares with the other threads also so this like this so uh, a thread say uh, shares with the other threads in the same process its code section data section and other operating system resources if you take a process a process is having some threads so each thread shares its code data everything will be shared by 
all threads so all threads uses this same code and data sections and other operating system resources like files signals everything will be shared so that is the concept of a process and thread so let me give this general example for this process and thread so then you will understand uh, clearly what as a process so if you take uh, a word microsoft word document if you are taken okay so uh, let us take this is a process this is a process so in this process you are having threads so what it mean so let us take if you take the word document in the word document the spell checker in a word can be considered as a thread means in the word document you are having so many features like spell checker okay and it is saving the files and it is uh, creating the animations so like that's uh, different uh, tasks are there in the word document so each thing you call it as a thread it is a thread so which is a lightweight process so this thread will share the resources of the word document so the spell checkers needs the uh, code and data and the library functions every, everything that is present in the uh, word document so that it needs and for saving also it needs all the code sections and the data section related in the word document and for creating some any animations or if you want to insert some picture arts so you need the uh, you need to share the code and data that is present in the word document so this is suppose if you take this is a process and each process uh, for that you are having different threads spell checker saving animations and coloring and uh, whatever the operations that is there so that uniquely uh, you call it as a thread so an application running is called a process and uh, application running so this is an application a word document is an application you call it as a process okay so an application running is called a process and a process can have multiple threads a process can have multiple threads i hope you understand uh, the difference between this thread and the process so a process is just and if you take an a running application you call it as a process and within that application you are having different uh, tasks okay so that you call it as a threads and now coming to this uh, uh, the difference between the process and thread clearly so let let me explain the differences between the processor and threads so the first the process is in heavy weight you call that process as a heavy weight and whereas coming to the thread thread is a lightweight process and process switching needs so whatever the process that you are taking that process switching needs interaction with the operating system so compulsory if the process wants to switch it needs some interaction with the operating system so without the interaction with the operating system the process cannot switch but whereas coming to the thread thread switching does not interact with operating system so it just simply interacts with process only okay suppose the operating system is there operating system is interacted with the process only okay if the process wants to be switched it needs the interaction with operating system so within the process you are having threads so threads no need to interact with the operating system it just interacts with the process only because it has to share the resources of process so it simply interacts with the process only it doesn't interact with the operating system does not interact with operating system next so the process is in multi processing environment if you take a multi processing environment each process execute the same code so different process p1 p2 p3 like the different process or the multi processing in the multi processing environment each process executes the same code but has its own memory and file resources so each process having their own memory own memory and the resources file memory and the resources okay and this file memory and resources will be shared by multiple threads 
so if you take a process e this process is independent of this process and this is independent of this process so i already said suppose if you take the web server and if you take the database and if you take any other process those are all independent to each other each having their own memory and their having own resources okay so if you take the multi processing environment each process executes the same code but has its own memory and file resources there is coming to thread all threads can share same set of open files shared process so all threads shares the same memory in that process and coming to the process if one process is blocked suppose one process is blocked then no other process execute until the first process is unblocked so if this is blocked and it other process has also has to be wait until this block is unblocked until that no process will be executed in the kernel so but whereas in thread if one thread is blocked and waiting a second thread is in the same task can run so here if it is one is blocked okay the another threads will be executed it doesn't bother about whether that is uh, blocked or unblocked so that is a thread and uh, one more difference of the process if one process uh, now coming to the, each process operates independently to others so i already said this process is independent and this to in this and this is independent to this so each is independent so there is no communication between means there is no uh, sharing between this process so and here one thread can read write or change another thread's data so this is about the difference between the process and thread so i hope you understand what exactly the difference between the process and thread a process is just an application that is going to be executed so within an application you are having different tasks that has to be executed so those tasks or you call it as a threads it is just a simply lightweight process thank you